I just want to do a video just showing Joe Biden showing his Jesuitical Catholic allegiance and who his loyalty is, which is the Jesuit Black Pope in Rome and his henchman, the White Pope. That's what it gets down to. Here is the truth of the matter, because uh, sadly, the America of today is not the America that was started in 1776. The America of today is essentially just, again, in the back pocket of the Vatican. It's that simple. And if I sound like I'm a bit slurred in my speech, I have this really bad canker sore on the on the bottom uh, left of my lip. And it's, it hurts whenever I speak because my, my teeth move against the sore, causing it to trigger any pain this way. So just bear with me if I sound a bit slurred or a bit kind of, you know, just my voice may not sound normal, basically. But that out of the way. I'm going to show a scripture, Revelation chapter 17, verse 18, relevant to the matter. Revelation chapter 17, verse 18. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Okay, Mystery of Babylon reigns over the kings of the earth. And this is evident, uh, and by the way, America is not an exception to this, by the way. But this is evident in the fact that the Pope uh, essentially totally, you know, he gets state visits to all these European countries and they just, you know, kiss his finger and bow down to him. Yeah, he reigns over the kings of the earth. The black, the black Pope and his henchman, the White Pope, which, who, which is who Francis is, the White Pope. But here are some pictures, by the way, of Joe Biden showing his allegiance to the Jesuit, the uh, Jesuits and the Popes in Rome. The two Popes, the Black Pope and the White Pope. That's why I say plural there. But here's the first picture of Joe Biden uh, meeting with Pope Francis and just all ooing and aahing over how, over how he gets to meet. And Joe, Joe Biden himself openly says he's a Catholic. Joe Biden himself openly is proudly, you know, admits to being a proud Catholic. So here is him and his wife meeting with the uh, Jesuit trained Pope Francis, by the way, in front of this idol of Jesus Christ, this false image of Jesus Christ. Here is the next picture of Biden presenting Pope Francis with, I guess, a little booklet or a gift or whatever, because every time these world leaders meet with the Pope, they always have to present him with some kind of gift or an offering, almost kind of like a sacrifice to Moloch, which the ancient Israelites were doing when they were becoming apostate and pagan. Uh, is that simple? Which, by the way, Judaism is modern-day Moloch worship. Judaism is a false religion, just like Catholicism. So there he is right there in this picture. Here is the next picture. This is actually back when Obama, Obama was still president of the Pope. And by the way, Obama, he was in the back, po back pocket of the Pope as well. But here are the Pope stepping out of his airplane, greeting Joe Biden and Obama just there. Just, you know, essentially, because uh, again, Joe Biden's a Catholic there, so obviously Joe Biden's going to be the one doing the talking. But uh, it's showing, again, Obama and Biden both were pawns in the back pocket of the Pope, and he's coming out and greeting them. You know, you say, oh, oh what's the significance of this? Why is a religious figure getting these state-funded, state, official state visits like this, if he's not a political figure as well? Because Roman Catholicism is both a religion and a political system, when you really get down to the fact of the matter. It's just the modern Roman Empire revived. It's the ancient, or say, I'll say it this way, it's the modern Roman Empire. It's basically the ancient Roman Empire revised and repackaged. I'll just say it that way, just so, people, just so it makes sense. But here's the next, the final picture of the Pope in the in the halls of Congress, on the floor of Congress, shaking the hands of Joe Biden, and Joe Biden just, just again, ooing and aahing over having to get to shake hands with the, what they call the Vicar of Christ, which is who they think, they think the Pope has actually taken the place of Christ on earth. Yeah, because the Pope, in, if you're a Catholic, essentially your Pope is nothing more than just a usurper of Christ's authority. He takes the authority that belongs to Christ only. Uh, ruling over the flock, which First Peter chapter 5, verse 1 to 3 actually forbids the elders and bishops to do. But anyway, you see him just start shaking the hand of the Pope. Why? Well, because Biden is showing who his allegiance is to. You know, dementia Joe Biden, uh, with all of his cognitive decline, at least knows enough to know, at least he knows enough to remember, basically, that his allegiance and loyalty is to the Pope in Rome, the Jesuit Black Pope, in fulfillment with Revelation 17, 18, where the mystery of Babylon reigns over the kings of the earth. So it's that simple. I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, Jesuit Joe Biden, that's why I call him Jesuit Joe Biden, because he serves the Jesuits in Rome. So again, like I said, I want to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Don't be deceived by all this. Goodbye.